All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about future downloadable content, future DLC characters for Jump Force. Uh, we do have some confirmations through data mining and it brought a certain concern to me. And it sort of falls in line with the last video I did about Jump Force and it's the lack of female equality in this downloadable content cycle. We need more female characters in Jump Force. So I'm gonna assist the developers in highlighting important fan favorite female characters from the Shonen series that I would love to see as either paid DLC or free DLC characters added at a future time in Jump Force. So the first character is gonna be coming from the Bleach universe because we only have one female character from the Bleach verse. That's terrible. There are so many great female characters in that series and it's a shame that we only got Rukia. I mean, it, it, let me go ahead, just jump into this. So the first female character that we need most definitely 100% is Holly Bell, one of the strongest Espada in w Waco Mundo. Yes, we need her in the game most definitely. Her outfit would be awesome. Her move set would be ridiculously awesome to play as and i feel like she's one of the uh unsung heroes of the bleach verse she's one of the characters that really made the wake of mundo arc shine and she never really did get it's, it's a travesty that she wasn't in the base roster for jump force but they could easily fix this by making her a free downloadable character for the dlc roster now the next character because we want to keep covering uh the bleach verse is orahime orahime is one of the most favorite female characters not only in bleach but in anime period it is a crime not to have her in this game and her move set is so unique because when she starts awakening her powers she has the ability to heal and turn back time so this could be a really interesting move set to see reflected in jump force imagine the the new moves for the cac imagine how she would function in ranked imagine her combos and how insane they can get and how you could literally beat the the crap out of people with orahime yes yes and more yes most definitely and would love to see her interactions with ichigo in, uh in the uh cut scenes and whatnot i, I just think that everyone would love orahime in this game so next character again we have another uh bleach verse character and it's rangiku we have only one uh captain from bleach and that's rukia or no we have multiple ca captains but we only have one female captain i feel like that's that's bad and it could easily again easily be corrected by adding a unique powerful female character in rangiku now i mean you already have them adding hitsugaya so why not add her again this 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 sausage fest is kind of i know it's a shonen anime i know it's a shonen game but that does not mean that we don't go into adding female characters just for that excuse alone rangiku is a very beloved and interesting character her powers are unique her move set would uh be something like you i mean you could even play around with maybe her ultimate having that um zanpak toe arc um manifestation of her of her sword right you can have that be her ultimate or that be her awakening you could really play around with that character and make some interesting you could either make her a gag character or you could make her a serious character it, either way rangiku needs to be added into this game now we're gonna go and shift from the bleach verse i could pull a lot of characters from the bleach verse they're interesting but let's go into the naruto verse because currently we only have kaguya that's it kaguya i'm not feeling that we need more female representation from the naruto verse and i'm gonna go i'm not gonna go the sakura route because there not a lot of people like sakura so we're gonna talk about a character that's very important very relevant to the naruto verse and that character is hinata hyuga now you could either use the uh, hinata hyuga from the uh last naruto movies where she has longer hair like you know uh, what it's not road to boruto i'm trying to think of the name of that movie where she had got her updated look 
uh it wasn't quite the uh boruto look she still had long hair but yeah we could have that hinata hyuga represented in jump force uh the representative of the hyuga clan in jump force that's a very interesting play style and they could easily just pull from her naruto storm four move set her awakening would be her lion fist palms and i mean it would be awesome her ultimate maybe make her ultimate 69 palms yes yes and more yes i would love to see hinata hyuga in this game and then her uh super attacks well i'm gonna call them super attacks so i'm because I'm so used to uh, using the Dragon Ball games linguo. Um, her super attack to be her rotation palm, which could be a defensive or offensive combo move, depending upon how you used it. Uh, or air palms for distance. There's so much insane, crazy stuff that you could do with the Hinata character, and she's already beloved by the community. We need her in Jump Force. So let's shift over to one more female representative for the Naruto verse, and I could pull a lot of characters from that universe. Well, let, let's do two. One would be Mei Terumi, the Mizukage. Now, she is a beloved character that was underrated in the Naruto Storm 4 universe, and I feel like in Jump Force, she would uh, function perfectly if they just if they just pulled her Naruto Jin's move set or her Storm 4 move set into that game, she would be a force to be reckoned with. She has close and far range combos, and that's definitely what the game needs right now. Also, her lava style would it would look beautiful in the Jump Force graphics, and I feel like yes, we do need her in the game. You don't even have to do any work to put her in the game. You can just update her to that graphic style. And imagine having her outfit available for uh, female CACs. That would be insane, and everyone would love that character in Jump Force. So the last female character that we're going to be covering from the Naruto verse is going to be yes, the first female Hokage. Tsunade. Yes, yes, and more yes. This is why I ignored Sakura. Uh, she's not really, uh, Sakura is not really that much of a beloved character. She's, no one really cares about her. But Tsunade, you could have the best possible version of the healer Nin in Jump Force and imagine the interactions with Naruto. So um, she already has a full move set because they tend to pull their resources from uh, games that the characters are already in. So you could easily pull her move set from the Naruto Storm 4 series and her awakening would be awesome. I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking like when they add um, All Might into the game, and if they added Tsunade into the game, that could be a what if battle that would be crazy. You could have Tsunade versus All Might, a battle for the strongest. Now, I love Tsunade. She is such an inspirational character to me. And her, her, her character just speaks to me so much. And I feel like, yes, Jump Force would be the game for her. So, uh, I think those are all the characters that I want to cover for this edition let, let, let's see who oh we gotta go over bleach oh no 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 yeah bleach and let's go over uh my hero academia so those are gonna be the last two uh series we go over for this one so as far as um one piece is concerned i think we know the characters that are missing that must be added nami 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 how do you miss the main girl of luffy's crew from Jump Force. How do you miss this character? Um, we need her. We need her. She is almost pretty. She's pretty much the mascot character from One Piece besides Luffy himself. How do you not have her represented in the game? Now, I will give I will give you guys your just due. You did add Boa Hancock. That's great. You knew there were female characters in this universe, but you have to do right by them and add Nami to this roster. I mean, you already have her outfit in the game. You might as well add her face and hairstyle and just put her model in the game and put her fighting style in the game and have her represented. You must have her in Jump Force. So now we're gonna go into the My Hero Academia universe. And the first one is gonna be Midnight, the female hero, the 18 plus hero. And I feel like she would, 
she she could be a gag character if you wanted her to be like her move set could be very gaggy where she could use the crop and use her um, perfume or her spray on the characters and we do need some gag characters to kind of you know relieve the tension and just everything you know have a, com a comedic character in the game we could definitely use that or you could go the serious route and still have her use her crop and beat characters into submission that's also an option now the real character that i feel like they could play around with and make very unique in this game from the my hero academia universe is mount lady yes currently we really don't have giant characters represented in this game so what she what you could do is have her fight and use combos in her regular size and have her awaken into her giant mode and maybe you could go the storm four or uh, was it storm four or was it storm revolution that had uh giant characters that sort of played like mini boss battles uh that you could use as awakenings because i could see mount lady working like that i could also see see her working like choji used to work in the naruto storm games where he took his giant form and they literally made it to where he was a giant character that fought on the screen so mount lady could represent that in jump force and she is a beloved character she has a really cool outfit that i think cac's would love and everyone would love them some mount lady and jump force so those are all the characters that I feel like need to be represented in Jump Force DLC and I hope and please share this video, send it to the Jump Force uh, creators over on Twitter so that they get to see this, send it on the Reddit, send it everywhere because we need these female characters to make this game shine and I, I don't even say that we need to save this game because it's doing pretty well but if you were to add all these female characters you would attract a bigger female audience and they f they would feel more comfortable playing this game so i hope you guys enjoyed the video egalitarianism we need female equality in this game and that's what i want so i hope you guys enjoyed the video hit that subscribe button click that notification bell for future content from this channel and i will see you in the next video peace